Okay, so video is going to be in the description of the hysterical, what, what's the word, comedic, comedic video that this uh, <clears throat> apostle put out. Talking about assumption prophets are the worst. Well, he was literally describing prophetess Maddie Nottage in this video. He's absolutely describing her. And, um, but what he said at the end was absolutely geared toward me because I said, this is why I, I, I didn't join his school of the prophet because I am a seer. And he said, we don't want no witches in our school of the prophet. So he's back to calling me a witch. And at the end, he called me a Jezebel again because he said, Jezebel, uh, doesn't want to be the front of the church. Jezebel has false humility um, saying, I don't want no title. These are all things that I have been saying out here. What these idiots don't understand is these are the exact things that Jesus said also. You see, uh, is, is this so-called uh, fake apostle calling Jesus a Jezebel? Is that what he's saying? Jesus is a Jezebel? See, Jesus forgot himself. He didn't want the limelight. When you truly follow Jesus, you die to yourself and you pick up your cross, you see? You know you don't want the limelight. The limelight, the limelight is for the sleepers who are of the world, who want to be mammon worshipers. These are the unsaved. This is why once they, once they, decide to follow Jesus, they must give up their sinful life. Do you understand? So um, the other thing is, uh, well, I know that that prophetess person has quite the imagination and she's quite the uh, narcissistic uh, word salad person. She says a lot of nothing about nothing, actually. And she makes you think she's speaking something very important. But, um, no, I have never done that, you see, because I have never been fake. I have never been fake. And the other thing this fool doesn't understand is I have been on already, it's going on nine years now, a path that has strictly been of Christ, strictly been out of the world, that uh, I'm in my divine mind. There is no imagination going on here, none whatsoever. Imagination is only for sleepers. It's only for sleepers like him. This is all he can speak about because this is all he knows. So Jesus himself said, we are to be in the world and not of the world. Being not of the world means you don't look for the limelight. You don't want to be number one in the church. There's no reason for it. There's no reason for it. It's not false humility either. See, I'm not trying to bring anybody down. Uh, if these fools would shut their mouths and leave me alone, their names would never be mentioned again because I'm actually getting sick and tired of talking about these people. They're vomit producing. This guy is not an apostle. He is not an apostle of Christ. I don't know, he, he's an apostle of mammon, but he's not an apostle of Christ. So, what? I, this, is, this is what I could never understand about these people. These are narcs. These are narcs. Narcs, as I've already discussed with you, are demonic spirits. And I could never understand why they get so much fun out of being so ignorant and arrogant and egotistical and fake. They're hypocrites. They love getting into the spiritual communities because they love being in positions of power. It's all about power, money, and sex. That's all they want. It's all they want. See, this is all ego. This is all ego. If it was truly about making sure God's people had the correct information, They would just be on their merry way. They would be on their merry way, teaching their own people 
It, it wouldn't be about attacking me constantly. And then they're going to twist it and turn it to say that I'm the one attacking them. This is what narcs do best. When they're called out, they play the victim. It's what they do best. So he's supposed to be some kind of expert on what a prophet is. He doesn't have the first clue because he, like his assumption prophets, are living in their imaginations. As he believed that God told him that his people were going to temporarily come together. Well, God would never go against his own word. God would never go against his own word. But this guy's imagination didn't allow him to see that, I guess. You really should check that imagination with the Holy Spirit before he says anything. I'll put this uh, comedy act in the description for you to hear. He is, in fact, describing that prophetess, Maddie Nottage, with her, with her little talk about uh, what she told, thus saith the Lord to the people from Texas. Yeah, 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 that was cute. That was cute.